Okay. Okay. That's... That's out there. Going in at the 9 elixir with the skeleton barrel. Nice. Ah. Um, yeah, so anyway, guys, now that that happens. Last balance change was for sure an interesting one, right? Because the bats were nerfed. And you're seeing that a lot of people, a lot of people are running Expo with the Knight instead of the Ice Comb. And I was thinking, like, why is this? Why is this? Two reasons. Reason number one, bats were nerfed, as I just said. Reason number two, Fisherman is meta, and Ice Golem isn't too good versus Fisherman. So that is definitely the thought process that people are having when they switch to the Knight. And we're going in here. Um, let's see. I think we want to just Firewall. That's a good one. And then we get the expo lock. Nice. He has an earthquake. Wow. He, he really has your... Well, this will be interesting. At least you got damage on his tower. Because he didn't have a tank and didn't have enough elixir to defend. So I would say this actually worked out quite well. Let's try to Ice Spirit ship the tower. He's going to be playing uh, Giant Skeleton Priest. No, he just plays that instead. So let's just go in right away here. <laughs> He's not going to have enough Elixir to defend this. Let's try to get the lock on the tower. It's going to put him in a bad situation here and then, of course. Yeah, of course he does that now. So I think... Well, no, we're just going to let the Tesla die now. Still no damage on our tower. It might be time to set up defensive expo. I feel like I feel like it is. Let's go with the defensive expo. He's gonna probably be sparking pretty soon here. I think we can kind of just get that off there. And unfortunately, that Sparky has 1 HP, so we have to actually defend it. Okay, so probably just going to play another defensive extra because it's a little bit better versus Sparky. In some matchups, you want to do this, but I feel like in this matchup, he's not going to have the best answer for it. So we're just going to also Tesla here. And see if we can get him here with the attack. Um, feeling like Tesla is going to be the play. I think we have an elixir advantage, so I think that even if he sparkies this, we should be good. Let's see if he lets it. It does let it lock onto the tower. That's kind of nice. Let's not even log. Let's just do that. Get the knight on the field. We had the archers done anyway, and then if he sparkies, it's not going to one shot the archers unless he somehow manages to perfectly line it up. So we actually could do something here. I feel like we okay, yeah, we just archers the bridge and try to go in. He's not going to have too much elixir. If he earthquakes, that's not enough. So we're also going to play the Tesla. He needs one more thing. Okay, well we're chilling. Let's. This might be spill cycle time. Let's see. We want it to not hit the Tesla. Looks like it actually doesn't, which is good. And then we can firewall to finish that off. We're looking like we're in a pretty decent situation, I'd say. Oh no. Okay, well, we almost choked at the end, but we didn't. So as you guys know, last balance change, the bats were nerfed. And the bats nerf in combination with 
the fisherman being meta just means that the ice golem is like kind of or sorry the knight is kind of better than the ice golem right now in expo and so that's where you're seeing a lot like the majority of the top expo players have been switching to the knight instead of the ice golem so here we go this is probably gonna be graveyard i would say Wait a second. Oh, you can't use the log trick anymore? That's kind of rough. You used to be able to log a barber in that position. I guess you still could, you just couldn't chip tower. So let's split our archers here. And... Go in again, probably. Honestly, why not? Here we go. I mean, that's just hardcore protected, honestly. Can we? Nope. We actually do catch up the skeletons, but it's not going to keep alive because, you know, poison already did enough damage. So let's see here. We're actually having his, um... Poison out cycled here, I think. So let's go with archers in the back and then be ready for the bridge block in case he decides to switch lanes. Looks like he's not going to. Okay, here we go. Can I hit all three? No, we don't get the lock in the tower, okay. Time to defensive expo, I'd say. And let's see what happens here. Now there's double elixir. Tezzle there. The block for the baby dragon. Just fireball him? Try another defensive expo. We're gonna try to fireball cycle unless he um I don't really know how to explain it. Unless he gets us an opportunity to do something else. Let's keep that alive. Good chance to fireball cycle here. It's archers. Okay, well. I would say he poisoned the wrong thing there, so. Let's see what we can do here. Switch lanes, have two expos down. Maybe this gives us an opportunity to lane switch now also. To switch the other lane. Maybe we can get down the log. Uh, yeah, he definitely. Oh, that was not a good poison. Not a good poison at all. Um, trying to get this expo to lock on here. Keep switching lanes until something happens. But also keep in mind how much damage we actually have on the other side there. Okay, now, which survival cycle? You could try to keep getting an expo lock, but... Oh, well, actually, we do get an expo lock. But yeah, we're gonna beat him in spell cycle here. He goes in like that. It doesn't really matter. Because... We have more damage on this tower than he got on us. There we go. Good game. Go. Just cycle our archers. Don't want to waste our log. Uh, wow, that actually got some damage on my tower. That is too bad. I 
I honestly don't regret the X that uh, Tesla, even though pretty darn sure he has Lava Hound. So here we go. Let's just expo that. I mean, we have a Tesla down, so we might as well. And I played it there that way. I can use the the Tesla to expo pull trick, which is very useful in this matchup. It's just Archer's there. Been down already. And okay, well. We will see what happens here. That is unfortunate. Not even gonna lie. That is not good. Well, at least we're going opposite lane of him. That is the only good thing in this scenario. I just, I did not have an answer to those arrows. Let me tell you. Arrows came down and it's just like, fat L. Better archers now. At least this time you can't get arrows value on them. That was the problem. Okay, and then we'll expo here. Got my heal spirit ready. Okay, this is a little better of a situation. Let's see, go there. Try to sneak in heals with over there. If not, we're gonna log. And looks like he does actually let it lock, which is good. Gives us a chance on both sides there. And well, now we just fire up a cycle. Nice, nice. And that's gonna be a good game. You know, that was not actually that easy. Really, really wasn't. Just because of just because of those arrows, you gotta be a little bit careful when the arrows come out. So TS Lucas here. We'll just start him off with some split archers, probably. What we're gonna do. Maybe we'll wait and see if he plays anything first. And he does indeed. Honestly, just going with the expo because he probably either has 2.6 or Hog Earthquake. Either way, this should be a decent expo. Or, well, I guess he can have that too. Kind of forgot that was an option there. But I would say, let's see, what is he even going to do to answer this? There we go, we blocked the, the Ice Spirit. We saw that one coming from a mile away. And we're getting a really nice lock in his tower. Uh, I would say he... Definitely messed up that defense. Probably should have rocketed us. He doesn't really want to defend with the Executioner and Single Elixir. That was his mistake. That was the problem. So, we're just going to Tesla high. And then see what he does. Looks like he does decide to just do that. Okay, I'm fine with that. Let's see what he's going to do here. Um, if I play Knight there, then Executioner's not going to kill everything. Well, it kills one of them, but that's not too bad. Just log. I actually hit one of them. Nice. Play Ignite Tesla again. Thing is, if I play Tesla in this position, he can't really hog, because, well, he can only hog to kill the Tesla. We pre can pretty much just fireball cycle him. I mean, let's just start it now. He rockets and we'll expo. If not, we're just gonna keep fireball cycling. Play my Tesla 
This is actually the lowest vision you can play in a Soul Pulse Hog Rider, so that's why I did that. That is the reason. Just keep doing the same thing with our Teslas. That's gonna work. Throw out another Firebolt. As I said, we're not gonna Expo again unless, unless we need to. I mean, there's really no reason to. Just keep cycling. What does he do here? Okay, well, he did get a little bit of damage on our tower there. Just, just a little bit. But we're still fine. We're still fine. Ah, uh, he cannot beat us in this race. Nope. No, sir. No, sir, you cannot. And there we go. Begin. Okay, so we split our archers. What's he gonna do? Anything. Anything. Uh, okay, I'll just knight the back. I didn't really want to expo because archers aren't really gonna do all that much. I mean. So he's gonna have, I'm thinking, uh, Pekka, which is why I played a high Tesla. You can do that versus Pekka. Okay, looks like he actually has three Musketeers, so since we have the Archer Town, we're gonna attack. And I can you catch that with skeletons? You know, I'm not exactly an expert on it. I feel like it usually works, just didn't quite work out in that situation. Okay, so we're gonna be ahead of damage here, but we're gonna be down in elixir. I actually maybe could have got away with throwing out a fireball there, but I said not to. Instead, we're just gonna fireball this one. And then we're going to be in a world of hurt, because he's going to play Three Musketeers, and we're not really going to have an answer to it. So I think we're just going to want to... Defensive Expo here. See if this works out. Only question is going to be, should we have not Defensive Expo, then tried to cycle to... Um, cycle to another Fireball, I'm not too sure, but we'll see what, how this works out. So it looks like the defense works out for no damage. It looks like that was the right play in that situation. I feel like if he had a diff different variation, that might have been the wrong play, but like if he had minion horde, we probably wouldn't have wanted to do that. So did he give up? I feel like he still had a chance there, but he just gave up, so I'll catch you guys in the next one. I think that's like four wins in a row now, so let's see if we can make it five. Here we go, split the archers versus another Japanese player. And, well, I guess we're playing our Tesla. We can Ice Spirit here and, oh, actually it didn't quite work. He might be having, um... Royal Hawks? No. Okay, well this is weird. I actually don't need to Tesla that. Take one hit on the tower and then maybe he has a pet. No. Yeah, 
Yeah, he definitely has Pekka Ram Rider, I'd say. Or he could just have, like, um, Pekka without Ram I guess that's also kind of a deck. So maybe he doesn't have the Pekka. Well, I'm not actually too sold on that yet. Let's see, let's just pre-place our Tesla, actually. I think it's better than Cycling Skeletons, so we'll save our Skeletons for, like, his Bandit. Because I'm assuming... Wait. Actually, he probably doesn't have a Bandit. Since he has the, um, Dark Prince, but it's still fine. Well, maybe it's not fine. I was really trying to stop the, um... Magic Archer here on the tower, so yeah, we kind of just wasted a bunch of Elixir. Maybe I should have thought a little bit more about what deck he had and stuff in that situation, because probably didn't play that the best. I wanted to be wary of his Lightning. He, he probably does actually have um, P.E.K.K.A. since he showed the Lightning. I don't think he'd show Lightning if he didn't have the P.E.K.K.A. Okay, so this could be a pretty good opportunity for us. Maybe, but probably not. Um, unless that splashes. Oh, okay, we actually get a little bit of chip damage from the tower. That's what I was hoping for. No, play that high. Hopefully he doesn't realize I just misplayed that. I hope not. We'll see. He might have realized. Well, he realized. That's unfortunate. But he still plays a Dark Prince into it, so like, honestly, it's not that bad. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. We're gonna wanna play that defensive. We're also going to want to try to not let that cross the bridge. Defense Rexo again. Might be a spell cycle race now. in the world is he predicting that? I'm gonna keep that last game in there because I think we actually played well. I think it was just literally that one misclicked expo that ended up costing us the game. I think if I hadn't misclicked that, definitely would have been a win. So, kind of pointless to take it out because it was actually a pretty good game. Um, you see, either you're thinking Lava Hound or Balloon at this point, so. Because that we're just gonna expo here. Well, or Royal Giant. Um, maybe Royal Giant Barbarians? Or maybe just Lava Hound still. Yeah, no, probably just Lava Hound. Uh, that would make sense. Um, probably gonna be Lava Hound Arrows, so... Okay. Good to know. See what he's gonna do. 
Good time to just go in with the expo. I don't know if we really cared if that Tesla stayed alive. I'd say at that point we're looking good. The only problem is now he can go in with like a lot of hound. We don't really have an answer, so I'll probably just knight the bridge in the opposite lane. Let's see, well, skeletons here. Wow, he really went same lane? I was not expecting that. That was the one thing I was not expecting. Uh, let's try knight that lane. Oh, he actually doesn't have arrows. Okay. I guess he did show his fire fireball earlier. I just kind of forgot and assumed he had arrows. It actually does change things a little bit here. And then he's going to want to zap that. So we're going to go like this and just keep it all alive. And then try to just defend for the next, like, set amount of time. Which I think we'll actually be able to pull off. Yeah, I don't think he can take our tower in this short of amount of time. And looks like indeed he cannot, so GG. Here we go. Versus 1 HP. Okay. Oh, he's actually using the bats. That's unexpected to say the least. Why is he having that? That is definitely overcoming. We're going in. We are going in. We do not accept overcommitments in this house. No, we do not. What does he have? Meganite, probably. Yeah, this looks like Meganite Balloon. Probably gonna have an Infernal Dragon too. So I just gotta save my log for his um, Miner. Is this a good matchup? Not actually sure. Try to block one lane here. Um, I don't know, man. Where's gonna place our Tesla? If he tries to balloon like the opposite lane or something, we can deal with it just by pulling it to the center with an expo. So that's fine. So for now, we're just gonna split our archers and see if he's gonna magnite the bridge or something. I mean, you never really know. I guess I'm just going to log that. Again, I can either fireball his balloon or I can just pull it with an expo. Either one of them works. So we'll just do the expo pull in this situation. Can we get a little bit of damage? Okay, I mean, I'll take a little bit of damage on Tower. I'm not going to complain. Split our archers, I guess. Place our Tesla. The other Tesla was kind of in the way, so I kind of had to play it weirdly there. We don't really need to save our log, so we're just going to do that. Nice. And then that's going to be really hard for him to actually deal. I feel like we just win here. Yeah, he didn't even play his Ice Golem right. He needs to waste his zap. Bog is selected if we need it. Let's just try to get down that log. Keep it all lo Wait. How is it even... I'm not too sure how they even locked in the Meg Knight. I thought it was on the tower, but I guess, I guess it wasn't. I was wrong. Obviously I was wrong because, you know, 
It was it was not locked on the tower, but I thought it was. So if I was really good at expo, then I would know the timing to like cancel the drop. He's just gonna zap you. You can play fireball, so it like glitches the balloon and it doesn't actually shoot, even though it's like on top of the expo. But yeah, I don't know how to do it. I don't have the timing down. So, we're, so we probably already won the game, but we're just going to keep playing it right here. Try to not choke. And it looks like we're going to win the game just like that. I'm already starting the defensive expo Tesla cycle. But then we don't even need it. Because... Yeah, we're going to take the tower just like that. So here we go versus Lim Reich. Oh my gosh. Well, I do not have a good answer to that. So I'm just going to play it safe or risky depending on how you look at it. Is that, is that even high enough? I feel like it has to be. Let's let it go now. I'll just fireball. Okay, we got we got the mirror match. Which is probably a good thing. Maybe. I don't know. Probably a lot of people wonder how to play the mirror match. It's kind of a weird matchup. Splitting archers is important in this matchup, believe it or not. That's one thing you gotta be a little bit careful about. Let's see. We're expo knight back in cycle, so. Wait, hold up. The Tesla actually locked into the expo, so I didn't need those archers. Then he'll log, and... It could be an opportunity to expo, but, like, not really, because... Well... Nah, not... It's not really an opportunity, let's be real. He could just Tesla over here and then, like, kill it, and I wouldn't really be able to do anything about it. So you don't actually have to... I don't think I want to expo with my knight out of cycle. I think that's kind of the important thing. Kind of a weird ice spirit. I never understand why people do that. It's just like pointless. Pointless. Literally pointless. I don't know if he's like thinking I'm not going to defend it. Like, nah, I'm going to play my one elixir skeletons on it. Let's put our archers now. That way we can go opposite lane and whatever he drops is kind of the idea. And then we're just going to expo so he can't fireball the left side or he'll miss the tower. We're just gonna fireball that. And then we'll archers here. Looks like he's also thinking the same thing as us right now. Okay, our expo locked on his expo. That's all that really mattered there. We actually might have been in a little bit of trouble if it didn't. I think we still would have been fine overall. Mm, trying to get this ice spirit to lock. Now nah, we're just gonna let it die now. Wow, one of those really hit our tower, dang. That is unfortunate. I don't know how he's predicting every single thing that we do. But I do know it'll be a good fireball.
Oh my goodness. Woo! So, key takeaways. Spell cycle, fireball expos, lock expos when you're down a witcher, and that's how you win. It's literally how you win, because like you're not really gonna break through um if you just defensive expo the whole time. It's kind of like neither of you can really break through the opponent's defense that well unless someone messes up. So it is kind of about the spell cycle whenever given like the opportunity. Okay, so Lewis Enrique here. Ju Juno 2000. Who knows what that means? I don't even think it's a, is it Huno? Huno isn't it in Spanish J uh, H. I think so. So let's see. I don't think we know anything about his deck yet. We're just gonna try to keep our Tesla alive though. Try to get something on the field. He's gonna have um. I don't know. Well, I was wrong. I really thought that... I'm just gonna let that go. Thought he'd love Hound, but he didn't. He did not. Do I just play it there? I think I do. Maybe I should play one tile lower, that way I can skeletons to block any front dragon. Probably. Probably would have been the play. That wasn't the fireball. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to think. I wanted to keep my knight alive. That was, normally I want to fireball that. That was the only reason I did. So we play the Tesla and then that counters that. He does a weird kind of tornado, so we're just gonna go there. That actually worked out really well. Then we have a Tesla alive now, which is nice. We got Expo got pressure in both lanes, and we're going to Tesla on this side, probably. Especially when a Farm Dragon comes down the left side, he decides to play on the right side, which is probably a mistake on his part. We can get away with cycling our archers because we can just block the bridge if he tries to have the baby dragon to tank. Get down our Tesla there. I think he's gonna try to bar barrel pretty soon here. We're just gonna miss the tower? That way we actually get the lock? Because otherwise. You can't log the bar barrel and the tower anymore, unfortunately. Unfortunately, you cannot. Did actually get a little bit of damage on our tower, but overall we're still in the lead here, so we're going to keep going in. Probably be our last offensive expo of the game. I guess depending on what he does to the fireball at. Yep. Let's go to archers and we've got to be ready for the bridge block here. Which lane is he going to go in? Which lane, man? Looks like he decides to go in that one.
then we do the double fireball cycle as many cards as possible we have a slower cycle than we used to you have to be a little bit careful about that with night you can't spell cycle quite as easily and um well spell cycle doesn't work in general quite as well because you know they nerfed the fireball but still it's definitely possible to finish your games up your opponent's off the spell cycle but you gotta be careful you really don't want to do it in most situations unless it's like yeah three fireballs i'd say and three, three, three fireballs is actually risky. It actually takes a lot of elixir to cycle to that. So just do be aware of that. So this will probably be the last game in the video. Just gonna test the... Well? Didn't really have any cards to actually defend that. That's kind of overcommitted on his part. So this knight in the back, because we're up elixir, we're up about three elixirs, gonna play a card pretty soon here. Okay, so maybe he doesn't have a presence of a miner. Probably not. So that means we can beat him in this spell cycle race, and that's how we're gonna play it. gonna tesla the every single time and then that locks on the tower we can actually just fireball if we need to we'll just log though it's actually a lot of times a better play to just fireball log a mortar than to use like a defensive expo versus it that is one pro tip i've noticed some good expo players doing that like i don't ever i don't see a lot of people doing that it's actually a really good move. So we don't, we don't mind one Spirit Gauntlet Chip on Tower. You should have played that at the bridge, definitely. Don't really know why you played those in the back. Wow. We really just missed that. Let's see. I'm gonna let it lock, lock our tower and then we'll go... Man, that firecracker is annoying. Don't really have a good answer to it either. We can't afford any more chip damage. Well, we're really gonna lose because of that stupid firecracker. You know what I think we do? I think we start defensive actually. I wasn't gonna do it, but after I'm realizing how impossible that firecracker is to deal with, I think we need to. We're gonna fireball that. We literally can't kill it. Thank you. 
Here we go. This should be the final game of the video, hopefully. So, versus Russian OU. I've never seen this guy before. So, I got no clue. We're just gonna split our archers. Barb Barrel doesn't. Oh, well, maybe Tornado deck, you know, pretty popular with Tornado, but could be really anything at this point. I think it's okay to expo here. Don't think we really want to just play our knight. Stop the hit on the tower. Only one elixir. Probably worth it. Fireball is good because we got a lock on the tower and we killed everything. Um, for like an even elixir trade, so like looking good. Like, if you consider the Fireball was 4, Expo was 6, um, he spent like 8 Elixir on those troops, it was definitely going to be the play. So here we go, we're just going to... Um, Knight high here, and then Tesla. <laughs> just get down as much DPS as possible. This is actually a lot easier if we have Ice Golem. Like, this is going to be a hard matchup. Dang. If I play that Ice Spirit, or if I play that Log a little bit better, then I could have defended that for 3 Elixir, and I could have hit the tower. But, that was a good, good mini pack on his part. Of course, at 4 Elixir, so now I'm not going to be up Elixir. I have to keep that in mind. Okay, well, we're just going to defensive expo, actually. Is anything if he lightnings that, then it's like, okay for us. Looks like he's not even going to lightning, so... We need that to die so we can defense actual again. There we go. There we go. Um... Does he not have a lightning? I'm not too sure. Okay, let's attack right away. Second, he does that. Oh, you know what? Let's try to block the baby dragon. And I think we're gonna win the game just like that. Just like that. Here we go. Good game. <laughs> Good final game. It really shows, dude. You never really see anyone defensive exploiting like that. Um, and I never used to do it either, but I saw Lemon Tree did it, like, kind of as a trick. And then I watched this gameplay, I'm like, why did he do this? Like, trying to figure it out. And it was just, it's literally just because of the lightning. Because if you pre place Tesla, they're just going to lighten your Tesla, they're going to one shot your Tesla. But if you're playing the Expo, then they can't one shot your Expo. So um, you kind of want to use the Expo to pull the Golem and then. The Tesla to like snipe the support troops and it's actually the play. As weird as it sounds, it's actually the play. Um, it's super weird. It doesn't always work, you know. You still have something that's gonna lose, but it is. And sometimes you don't want to do it. It's a little bit situational, but like you saw in that situation, it ended up working out. So anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for today, and I'll catch you guys later.